custom of preserving bodies probably began in Egypt because of the weather. In the dry desert sands which surrounded the fertile banks of the Nile, dead bodies could be preserved naturally for many years. It was only a simple matter to develop this natural form of preservation into a crude science. The tissue is not only preserved in dry heat, ancient creatures long extinct have been found preserved frozen in ice. So what about so-called cryonics? What do scientists think about freezing our dead bodies until they discover a cure for lumbago? All we'd have to do is remember to have ourselves immersed in special freezing chemicals when we die. I would say it'd be more like immersing yourself in garbage. As has been demonstrated over and over again, that if you can't provide the human brain a circulation within five minutes, the brain's destroyed. So by the time these people go with their freezing materials to some funeral home or somewhere else uh, using Freon and other substances that uh, freeze the brain and the rest of the body, whether they use the whole body or the head, uh, causing crystallization of the brain tissue. I mean, we've proven that over the years that while you can take the brain down in temperature, you must never use anything that freezes the brain. So, sadly, the prospect of you meeting a deranged monster emerging from the deep freeze is about as likely as Queen Nefertiti chasing you around the photocopier at the British Museum. In short, you'd have as much chance of reanimating a Christmas turkey as breathing life into dead tissue which has been chemically frozen. Not least because the process of freezing itself causes irreparable damage. But you should never say never. We could always try strapping a few dead bodies together and plugging it in again. Yeah!